Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna drink some coffee today, talk about rifle cartridges. Stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. We're going to talk about what I would call my 2024 rifle cartridge buyer's guide. So if you're thinking about buying a new rifle cartridge in this coming year and you've been toying with it or thinking about it or it's been playing around in your head, this might be the video for you. A couple caveats right off the bat. Number one, I'm not focusing on handgun cartridges anything to do with shotguns or even rim fire rifles. It's primarily focused on center fire rifles. And really the focus is more on bolt action rifle cartridges, though we will talk a few cartridges that will be, that could be lever action as well. These are just my opinion, so relax, don't get upset. And I'm gonna list a lot of cartridges, but I'm sure I'm gonna miss some and it might even be one of your favorites. Doesn't mean I don't like the cartridge, Just for the sake of time, I can't go through all of them. All right, so I'm gonna bring you four lists today. And then at the end, I am going to give you my personal recommendations on what I think would be the best choice for your particular application. All right, now here's the four list. I'm gonna talk about the available cartridges out there. A lot of the new cartridges that have come out within the last several years. The third list is cartridges that the ammo is just expensive or they're hard to find the components for. And so they're great cartridges, just be aware of that fact. And then the last category will be older cartridges that are not as popular anymore, but they can still do the job. And then like I said, at the end, I'll give my personal recommendations. All right, so first of all, if you're the kind of person that says, look, I don't reload, or even if I do, I don't, want to be forced into reloading. I want to have a cartridge that's available. It's common and the ammo is not super expensive. I just want to go to any local store or any online retailer and find the ammo fairly easily. This would be my list for cartridges for that person. If you're looking into varmint cartridges, I would just go with the 223. It's by far the most common. If you're wanting a varmint slash deer rifle, but you want it to be really common and popular, 243 or the 25-06. For that 6.5 caliber, I would go with the 6.5 Creedmoor. For the 270 or 6.8 caliber, I would go with the 270 Winchester. For the 7 millimeter, I'd pick the 7 millimeter Remington Magnum. And then for the 30 caliber, I've got three that are all extremely popular, the 308, the 30-06, and the 300 Win Mag. These that I just named, these cartridges are the most common, the most available. And if, you're, if that's your number one priority, I would stick with those cartridges. I do have a part B to this first list though. Here's some other cartridges that aren't as common and available as that first list, but are still fairly easy to get. 204 Ruger, if you're wanting, you know, something smaller than a 22 caliber. The 22 250, the seven millimeter 08, and then on that bigger scale, if you want something in the 338, go with the 338 Win Mag. If you want something that's gonna be good for African game, um, even dangerous game, the 375 H&H. &H. And then if you're all about lever actions, the 3030 or the 4570. So that would be my list of common and available cartridges. Next list is some newer cartridges that have come out within the last five or six years, some within the last year. And I think they're good enough to get a mention here. They haven't had enough time to get on the list as the most popular cartridges, but more than likely they're headed in that direction, especially the first one. So starting off with the PRC cartridges, the 6.5 PRC, the 7 PRC, and the 300 PRC. These three cartridges are gonna duplicate or be very similar to the ballistics of the 6.5 284, 7 millimeter Remington Magnum and the 300 Winchester Magnum. They're just newer, more modern touches, 
faster twist rates, um, and becoming very popular, especially the first two. And they're definitely worth a look and definitely great cartridges. The 6.8 Western, it's Winchester and Browning's a little bit more modernized take on the 270 WSM. Um, really, really good cartridge. However, it's not gaining much support from anyone apart from Winchester and Browning. The 6 Arc and the new 22 Arc, definitely something that you should look into. The 22 Creedmoor, the 6.5 RPM and the 338 RPM, both from Weatherby. Simply taking the 284 case, extending it out, and getting a little bit bigger powder capacity, really cool cartridges. The new 277 Sig Fury, definitely worth a look. There is two versions of it, one for military, one for civilian, so do your research before you buy it. The 350 Legend has become very popular as a, in the states that only allow straight wall cartridges. The 8.6 Blackout is really cool and might be a top pick if you're looking for a subsonic round to shoot, say, in an AR platform that is going to be just devastating for self-defense or home defense. And then the 6GT, a little bit more modern take on the 6 Dasher or the 6 Benchrest, um, pretty popular in competitive shooting. All right, this third list is some cartridges that are just as good as anything I've mentioned before, but they're either expensive and or not as available as cartridges, as cartridges mentioned before. The 257 Weatherby, the 6.5300 Weatherby, the 300 Weatherby. All three of those are outstanding. One is fairly new, the 65300. The other two have been around a long time. They're outstanding magnum performing cartridges. The 28 Nosler. Now all the Nosslers are good and all of them are great for giving you Magnum performance, but that 28 Nosler seems to be the one that people like the most. The six millimeter Creedmoor, it is out there, but it's just not caught on like the 6.5, but it's really a good cartridge. The 260 Remington, the 6.5 284 Winchester, the 270 WSM and the 300 WSM and the 280 AI. Now those last few that I mentioned especially are some of my favorite cartridges, but I do hand load. And even though it can be frustrating at times, I sometimes can't find the components I want, but I am willing to wait it out until I can find them. And they are really nice designs on cartridges, but not as common. All right, in the last category, these are older cartridges that might not be chambered in a whole lot of things. A couple of these are still out there. Um, some of these are pretty much obsolete, but they're just outstanding cartridges that deserve a mention. So starting at the lowest caliber, the 22 Hornet, really an awesome, fun uh, cartridge to shoot. The 222, not the 223, but the 222, which is the parent of the 223 and a few other cartridges. The six millimeter Remington, it's, it, it's, it can hold its own with a 243, perhaps even surpass it, but never was as popular. The 257 Roberts, just simply necking down the 7mm Mauser to 257, a really cool classic cartridge. The 6.5x55 Swedish. Now, if you're in Europe, you're saying, wait a second, that's very popular and common over here. But in the States, it's really not. But it's an outstanding cartridge. It's been around for well over 100 years. The 264 Winchester Magnum. It's almost identical to the 7mm Remington Magnum, just in 6.5 caliber. The 270 Weatherby is another classic one that's definitely worth a look. The 7mm Mauser, we just talked about it a second ago, as being the parent case of the 257 and the 6mm uh, Remington. 7 Mauser, one of the OG cartridges. It's also indirectly the parent case of the 30 6 It's an outstanding cartridge. 284 Winchester, outstandingly designed cartridge. Never caught on, but it has been the inspiration behind a lot of newer cartridges and it's it's a fantastic cartridge just the standard 280 remington awesome cartridge almost identical to the 270 just in a seven millimeter caliber the 300 savage step down from the 308 definite step up from the 3030 
good in lever or bolt action rifles. The 300 H and H also known as the super 30, still a good Magnum 30 caliber. And then an oldie, but a goodie when it comes to African dangerous game cartridges, the 416 Rigby. All right. Like I said, I'm sure I missed a few, but I did kind of do a, a fast run through of a lot of good cartridges. Now, let me give you my personal recommendations. Now, if you're more of just a deer sized game hunter, so I'll just say this, there's what I consider varmint hunting, there's deer sized game, and then I consider big game and then dangerous game. Big game would be like elk, caribou, some of the bigger, you know, wildebeest, um, eland, zebra type game in Africa, the bigger antelopes. Deer sized game is what it sounds like. You know, all your different deer species, your North American antelopes. And then of course it would even encompass your bigger varmints, or I should say predators like mountain lions or wolves. And it would also encompass probably even black bear. That would be a deer rifle. If you're more focused just on a deer rifle, and let's say you mainly hunt whitetail deer. If you live in the Midwest or East, probably the 308 would be ideal for that. Now, if you're living out in the West, you want a little bit flatter trajectory, a little bit more range. I'd say just a 270 Winchester would be pretty darn good for that. And the 308 and the 270 are very common, very available. You'll have no trouble finding ammo for it. If you are that person that says, I do hunt deer and antelope, but I hunt a lot of varmints and I just want one rifle to cover everything, I'd pick the 243. It's really just going to do what you need it to do. It's going to be outstanding for varmints. It's going to be adequate for deer. And it would be my personal pick. A 25 out six would be just as good, but you know, a little bit more focused on the deer sized game. If you're strictly focused on just varminting, you know, your coyotes, your bobcats, things like that, foxes, you know, the, the easy button answer is a two, two, three. You can get it in so many different platforms. It's so available. It's extremely popular. It's probably the most popular center fire cartridge in the world. That would be the easy button. You want a little bit more velocity, a little bit longer range, 22, 250 would be great, but you also might look at these new ones coming out. This 22 arc and this 22 Creedmoor are pretty nice. The 22 Creedmoor is going to be like very similar to a 22, 250 AI, a little bit more velocity than the 22, 250, but pretty close. 22 arc is just a more efficient version, um, but both modern touches and pretty nice. If you're strictly hunting big game elk, for instance, or elk sized game, I mean, definitely something like a 338 would be great for that. A 300 wind mag, a 300 weatherby would be great for that. I would probably go with a 300 Winchester Magnum. It would, it's, it's very common, very available, but plenty of power. I guess this would be a good time to differentiate my recommendations to what I personally would pick. I might recommend you get a 6.5 PRC or a 6.5 Creedmoor, but I personally would pick a 6.5-284. I might recommend you get a 270 Winchester for a particular application, but I would go with the 270 WSM. I might recommend you go with a 300 Winchester Magnum. I personally would rather have a 30 out six or a 300 Winchester short Magnum. So if you're looking for really cool cartridges <laughs> that I think are awesome. Those would be some ones that I really think are great. So there could be a difference in what I personally would go with to what I recommend, but that once again is based on the fact I'm a hand loader, reloader, and I'm willing to wait for the components and I'm willing to spend a little bit extra on the components just because I'm having a blast doing it and I just, I just like those particular cartridges. Now, if I've went through all these too fast and I've said too many recommendations and you just aren't sure what to do and you say, look, dude, I, I just want to hunt and I just want to have an available cartridge. Can you just sum all this down to one cartridge? 30-06. Take care guys. Happy New Year's. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. More content like this coming out. 
Hope you have a wonderful day, and until next time, take care.